now like to invite to the stage uh, Niccolo Giacomorzi Moore from uh, the CBEJU. Um, Niccolo, don't take offence, the meeting's uh, planner is uh, just opened, I think. <laughs> nice to see you. Thanks a lot, good morning, and thanks for having us today. Uh, it's really a pleasure to be here. Uh, I will step out a bit from the area we just touched with some great example, most of which uh, coming from companies working with Circular Bio-Based Europe. And we are here to talk about how we can get help to you. Uh, we have money. Okay, so I'm very curious if people may, might come back in. Actually, uh, I will talk about what is Circular Bio-Based Europe. We are, for those of you who might have heard of us in our previous version, we are the evolution of BBI joint undertaking, bio-based industries joint undertaking. We are a, actually a European body. We are a European public-private partnership between the European Commission on one side and the bio-based industries consortium on the other side. Many of you today are members actually of the bio-based industry consortium. We have seen uh, before the presentation of the colleague from uh, Royal Cozun mentioning also Avancium, just to name a, a few names among our members. Uh, actually, our partnership is a funding body. Uh, we are providing funding to companies, research center in the circular and bio-based community to develop research and innovation project with an accent on innovation. So I'm very happy that the theme of today is drive to the commercialization because this is what we do. We try to help you to get to the market. So these are our main objectives. So really push through innovative uh, project to drive companies to scale up, to actually move from the pilot to the demo to the industrial scale. And this is already happening today. Um, we, of course, want to pursue the market development of bio-based solution. That's why we are here today. And also, one of the requirements we have is to ensure environmental sustainability of bio-based solutions in Europe, because, of course, this is very important to match make also what we do with the objective of the European Green Deal, the targets of 2030 and the ones of 2050, uh, of course. Without your help, this will not be possible. So the Green Deal will remain a new topic. So uh, here is where we intervene. Uh, we intervene in different um, level of uh, technology readiness. Uh, we intervene at the research level with the research and innovation action at the first stage. But mostly, and, and this is very important for today, 80% of our budget of uh, 1 billion euro in European funding goes to the higher TRLs. So to the innovation actions, those that we call demonstration and those that we call flagships. So the first industrial scale plant that goes really uh, towards the, uh, the market uptake. So this is quite a lot of money. We just closed our first call next year, last year. We are about to sign 21 grants now in these days actually. And we just opened our next call that is for this year. The deadline is 23rd of September. So it is open. There are 215 millions ready for you. And next year, there will be another 215 million on uh, project on the bio-based and circular solutions. So uh, if you need more information, we had an info day a couple of weeks ago. Uh, and all material is available, including the videos and the all information on our website. But so come and ask questions. We are here today. We have a booth with my colleagues who will be ready to answer more technical questions. So uh, one thing is to look back. We have uh, a successful experience with BBIJU, so our predecessor. We have 142 projects. They have been really very successful. What I would like to draw your attention on is the industry participation, but also the SMEs. 30% of the funding given by BBI joint undertaking went to startups and SMEs. This is an incredible number compared to other European programs. In terms of participation, this grows to 40%. So 40% of our 1,000 applicants are SMEs. So that's also a very um, important specificity of our program compared to other programs, especially in the area of the bioeconomy. 
Next. Uh, so just to give you a bit of a flavor of what our flagship projects are, here you can see the map of our flagship. There are, uh, most of them are already uh, basically at industrial scale. Some of them are still working on it. We have 14 of them, uh, quite well spread over Europe. We are working to go a bit more on the east side of Europe uh, because we think there's a lot of potential there. But so uh, you can see the, comp the, um, uh, the sites uh, and all of them are first of a kind. So they tackle very different technology challenges from bioplastics to insect protein to bio-based proteins to uh, materials for construction, uh, sustainable uh, organic chemicals. So there is really a full range of projects that are there. We have algae, microalgae, products that are ready for commercialization. So this is a very, very great success of a European initiative between the Commission and the Bio-Based Industry Consortium. Also in terms of impact, because we, we work a lot on achievement and we want to show a real impact. For each euro that have been invested by the European Union, five more euros have been invested by companies. It means, just to give an example, if one of our flagship projects gets 20 million funding, Another 100 million have been put aside by the industry partners of that consortium. So it's very relevant and it means the added value, the leverage effect, what we call it, of the initiative is extremely high. Also high impa impact in terms of employment, in CO2 emissions, so really great added value European project for, for, for this area. These are the topics of the call 2023. They are available on our website, as I said, all the information is there. We have a wide range of topics. The flagship, you see them on top. Those will receive a funding of around 17 million euro each. Uh, for the innovation action from one to seven, they will receive around 10 million funding each and two per each topic will be funded. And then you have the research and innovation and the coordination and support action. There are more, uh, the CSAs are more horizontal uh, tasks. So there is a lot to be discovered. I'm sure you see some keywords that might resonate to you, to the sector of your companies. So don't hesitate to come and see us, to get in touch. We have not, today we have two project officers here driving you through the call, etc. But don't hesitate also to contact us if you need more information. There is time. We are here together with also the colleagues of the Bio-Based Industries Consortium because, of course, it's important to get a network right, to get the, co the consortium right, to get the right funding and uh, the successful project. This is what a topic will look like in our annual work plan. Uh, you will see that actually the, the project will be asked to link actually the aim of the project to the, one of the specific objectives of CBGU because of course we are obliged to justify the money we give as funding to, to, to you, uh, to the strategic priorities, but also to a series of KPIs. So we want really to have focus on impact. We want things get done, but not just to pay the money, we want to see outcome out of the project, and this is happening very clearly from our past projects. Actually, we see that our KPIs that were initially set in 2014 has been completely overcome by our companies, even 10 times more. And one thing that I saw in the previous presentation is the value chain approach that gives really great result. And this is what happened in BBI and is happening again in circular bio-based euros, really to focus on the whole value chain and the intersector connection. We will have plenty today, of course. So uh, you will see change to be achieved. We talked about that. The previous speaker mentioned that we are here really to promote the change and to identify the problem that we would like to to solve with you, uh, with the help we can, uh, we can give. So I'm closing here. Here is the information. We are at the booth outside of the room. And thanks again for your attention. And come and see us. Thank you. Thank you.